today on Katie. Do you know what your stuff is really worth? Dig out your attic, your basement, your garage. That old piece of junk might actually be a treasure worth thousands. Then, what is Katie's stuff worth? Those are priceless. Plus, one guest has no idea. Their find could be worth tens of thousands. Oh, oh my God. That is great. And we're ready to set a new world record with Dan Cortese and the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> From Studio One in New York, it's Katie. to Bruno. You know, treasure is what this show is all about today. Did you know you might be sitting on some serious coin and not even know it? I don't really say serious coin, but that's what it said. <laughs> anyway, we all have those items around the house, a bowl on the mantle, the bracelet your grandmother gave you. They may be priceless to you, but could they actually be worth big bucks? Listen to this. In 2012, a man paid $5 for a sketch at a Las Vegas yard sale. Well, it turns out it was an original Andy Warhol painting worth $2 million. That's right. Meanwhile, this summer, a Philadelphia woman learned that a necklace she's had for eight years could be worth $300,000, and she found it at a flea market and bought it for $15. Well, that's why everyone in today's audience brought something they'd like to have appraised. So what is your stuff worth? Worth? We've assembled an all-star team of appraisers to find out. Elise Luray is the Sherlock Holmes of the art and antiques world. I think it's probably worth three times that. Seen on Collection Intervention, she's used her detective skills to appraise everything, from coats of armor to the Lucasfilm archives. You know how much I can get for this? Have a question about dolls, comic books, or action figures? Ask the toy hunter, Jordan Hembro. 275? 275. He hunts through basements and attics all across America, looking for hidden treasure in the toy chest. I smell something fishy, no pun intended. And the Kino brothers, Lee and Leslie, have almost 50 years of appraisal experience combined. The duo specializes in art and furniture and show off their skills on Antiques Roadshow. I would estimate this in $15,000. Oh, you're kidding. So blow the dust off those boxes and clean out the attic. We're about to find out what your stuff is worth. So, please welcome Lee and Leslie Kino, Elise Luray, and Jordan Hembro. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you. So, this is going to be so much fun. First of all, Leslie, let me start with you. How often are people sitting on real hidden treasure right before their eyes in their homes? Well, I'm always amazed, Katie, how many times we find pieces that literally are right in the pantry or in the attic or the closet or the basement, and you never know when they're going to turn up. And we often hear stories, I know, Lee, about people going to yard sales and picking something up and, and suddenly realizing it is worth a boatload of, of money. What are the, some of the strangest discoveries that you've witnessed? Well, one of the most rewarding was when on the, the, the table that was bought for $25 at a tag sale in New Jersey. And the lady brought it to the Antiques Roadshow in Secaucus, New Jersey, right? This is years ago. And uh, we appraised it at $150,000 to $200,000, roughly. And it ended up selling at auction for $550,000. But how do you discover, uh, Elise, that something you own is valuable? Well, I always say start with the internet. Really look at your piece, go on the internet, and look for comparables, things that are similar. But there's two key things. One, you have to look at condition, because if it's in completely different condition, it's just not going to be worth the same amount of money. And second is you have to look for the selling price. Just because somebody's asking $1,000 for something doesn't mean it's worth $1,000. So you really got to see what did it sell for. That's the key. Now, meanwhile, Jordan, toys have become really valuable huge huge so, so how can you tell if in your toy chest at home maybe something that you had or something you found at an antique store could be yeah, a little incredibly bit of valuable. toy gold yeah right. yeah you talk about the, the toy gold that i always talk about on the show what you want to do is you want to make sure all the toys are complete and they have all the their little accessories and everything if you have the packaging sometimes it could double or even triple the the worth of the the toy and everything wow. like that uh you know it's not uncommon nowadays to, to work with people and find toys that are worth 
five to ten thousand dollars. Wow. We wanted to know what your stuff was worth. That's why we hit the road and headed to Dallas. Is everything bigger in Texas? We sent our cameras to find out. The Katie Show was coming to town to see if you could be sitting on a gold mine. For News 8 Midday, I'm Cynthia Seguirre. Could your latest flea market purchase or unique family heirloom be worth big bucks? We're here today at Heritage Auctions, and it's really exciting. The place is packed. People are coming in with dollies, with carts, and they've scoured their attics and their basements and through Grandma's treasure chest. And we're going to see some really great things here today. It's a uh, annual from 1949, Buddy Holland attended the school. Uh, basketball from the Houston Rockets. This is a picture of a lady holding a dog. Uh, dress that at one time belonged to Janis Joplin. As far as collectible value, not real significant. It was either my grandmother's or my great-grandmother's. It's an absolutely stunning stone. It does appear to be a yellow sapphire, and um, we'd like to do a little bit more research on it. The condition is fantastic. We'll be glad to do some more research on it. I've held these balls um, for 57 years. So it's in 1892. It actually has a little CC down there oh, okay. for Carson City, Nevada, which makes it much more special. This coin might actually be worth something, and I'm really excited to be able to give it to my son. He's looking to buy a new home, so this really might help him out in that process. We have Lionel Mickey Mouse train. Oh, man. Look at that. I've never seen one this complete or in this nice of shape. Do you have it, have any idea of what you think it might be worth? The original price on it was $1.95. What would you think about going to New York with this piece? I may not be available, but my wife might be. Your wife might. And since this belonged to her mother, she might appreciate... Very appropriate. ...making the trip and getting the news. We had a great day today here at Heritage Auctions, and I can't wait for these people to find out what their stuff is worth. We couldn't come home from Dallas empty-handed, so we brought some of our viewers back with us to find out what their items are worth. So first up, we have Sherry. Sherry, come on out. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Okay, so look, we have our panel of experts here, Sherry. Okay, Kino Brothers, tell us about this. Okay, I am not a coin expert, so I checked with Mark N. Gold from Heritage Auctions, who's a real coin expert in 1892. Uh, the $20 gold piece. And the neat thing about this, Sherry, uh -huh. is that on the back side, when you look at this very closely, it has this double C, the CC, yes. which stands for Carson City, Nevada, which you may know. Yes. And that's, of course, where they were mining gold. Now, the, the condition affects the value of this a great deal. And um, this coin is worth, in this condition, $2,500. Wow. Wow. That's that's good. Good. Nice. Thank, you. Thank you so much for coming okay, by. Thanks, Good to guys. see you. All right, next up we have Claire. Claire, come on out. She's got something fun. Okay, let's see. Tell us what, oh. Jordan, this is your area right. of expertise. This is um, the Lionel Train from Lionel Trains. This is Mickey Mouse's Big Top Circus playset. This is extremely rare. This is, oh, I love this stuff. All right, <laughs> I go crazy. All right, what's beautiful about this set is all this beautiful artwork here. This is tin lithograph artwork. This piece in this condition has a little bit of box issues and everything, but for the age, it's great. You're talking anywhere between, oh, I love this part, I love this part. <laughs> this is, all right, jungle. I get excited. Ten to $12,000. Wow. Wow. It, it's great. <laughs> Claire, good, great. good news. It's yes. a good day. Yes. So, very good. Go be careful with this. Yeah, yeah be careful. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, careful traveling back to Dallas with yes, that thing. Okay, and, and we have Warren now. Warren, come on out. Warren's got some baseball memorabilia. Hi, Warren. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. I'm okay, fine. so you have okay. three signed baseballs that we saw on the tape yeah. package. Okay. Where did you get these? My father got them for me in 1956. Was he a New Yorker? Uh, my father this was, This is the yes. perfect New York set. Okay, yes. so there's two things that make me nervous about this ball. The first one is that it says Spalding, and the second one are these three signatures with the Jackie Robinson. 
It's not a real ball. It's a Dodgers ball and the ball boy actually during the 1956 season because the fans were so fanatic made these balls. But they are collectible because it's a really good example of a forgery and a good forgery and it's what? period. What? So how much that. would that sell, sell for? It sells for a couple hundred dollars. Uh -huh. you know, it's really not worth, uh, you right. know, a lot. The Yankee ball is the most collectible. Right. I'm excited about that. And when we look at baseballs, we always look at the sweet spot that's right here to see who signed it. And you have Yogi and Mickey, the right. problem Yogi is Mickey Mantle. the cool. Mickey Mantle signature to me does not look right. So this, these two balls together are worth about fifteen hundred to two thousand. If this was Mickey's signature, you'd be looking at four or five thousand dollars. So it really makes a big difference if it's if Mickey's right, and the fact that you have the signature and it's not right makes the worth the ball worth a little bit less. Well, obviously they have so much sentimental value oh, yeah. to yeah. you, right? Yeah. In this yeah. case, yeah. they're priceless. Price. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Warren, thank you very thank you. much. Here, careful. Thank you. Thanks, Warren. Okay, and finally, from Dallas, we've got Janet. Janet, come on out. All right, so hi, how are you? Hi. Nice to see nice you. To see you. All right. So Janet brought a beautiful brooch, and I know that the Kino brothers have been checking your brooch out. Tell us about it. Look at that sparkle. Well, wow. we're not jewelry experts, but we did check with a great specialist, Gus Davis, who's um, one of the great experts in jewelry, and he looked at detailed photos of this. There's a pretty big stone there. You've got, and it really is glittering as you as you can see. What is you that? See what it out kind there? of stone is that? Is that a sapphire or what is that? That is a yellow sapphire, surrounded by beautiful, beautifully set diamonds that that around like a vine, intertwined uh, vine. The the auction estimate that we place on this on this beautiful brooch would be eight thousand to twelve thousand dollars. Oh wow! Great, nice. 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 That is great. Okay. That may be conservative. Yeah, it's not Katie Lanza, right? Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. Well, wear it in good health. I will. Be Thank careful. You. Take good yeah. care of it. <laughs> it's worth a lot of money. Thank you so much. And when we come back, I'm going to take you inside my apartment to check out some of my possessions. Is one woman's trash another woman's treasure, or is it the opposite? We'll find out right after this. Up next. Pizza my daughter made in ceramics class. Priceless. Let's talk about these seals. These are pretty valuable, is that right? And later, Dan Cortese and the Guinness Book of World Records are here. Can someone set a new world record right here on our stage? Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. It's all coming up. This one goes out to all the allergy mugglers. You know who you are. You can part a crowd. <laughs> without saying a word. You have yet to master the quiet sneeze. You stash tissues like a squirrel stashes nuts. Well, muddlers muddle no more. Try Zyrtec. It gives you powerful allergy relief. And Zyrtec is different than Claritin because Zyrtec starts working at hour one on the first day you take it. Claritin doesn't start working until hour three. Zyrtec, love the air. Okay, listen up. I'm here to get the lady of the house back on her feet. OJ, veggies, you're cool. Mayo, corn dogs, you are so out of here. Because ah! I'm reworking the menu, keeping her healthy and you on your toes. The complete balanced nutrition of great tasting Ensure 24 vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, and 9 grams of protein. I see you, Cupcake. Uh -oh. The number one doctor-recommended brand. Ensure Nutrition in Charge. When the big news is weather, nobody covers it like Eyewitness News and AccuWeather. And more of you counted on Channel 7 to keep you on top of the storm. On air, online, and on the AccuTrack Alert app. Now, as the bitter cold settles in, stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage only on Channel 7. What does $10 down and $10 a month get you at Planet Fitness? Yep, 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 all of this. <laughs> no, yep -er. Just $10 down and $10 a month, now until January 10th. It's Join Our Planet January, only at Planet Fitness. A bold new voice in the African-American community. Here and now, on the issues important to you. Watch Here and Now with Sandra Bookman, Sunday at noon, right here on Channel 7. Sponsored by Health First. Join a health plan you can believe in at healthfirst.org. On the next Jeopardy! Change you can believe in. The thinnest coin we use today. It's 1.35 millimeters thick. Think you know the question? Find out if you're right on Jeopardy! Tonight at 7, right here on ABC7.
talking about what your stuff is worth with our all-star appraisers, Lee and Leslie Kino, Elise Loray, and Jordan Hembro. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a bit of a collector, maybe even a little bit of a hoarder. <laughs> is that a bad thing? Maybe not, because I invited our cameras over to my place to find out. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my apartment. I thought I'd show you some of my odds and ends I have around my apartment because I'm anxious to know just how valuable or unvaluable they are. This is my pillbox collection, which is incredibly sentimental to me because my grandmother gave me some pillboxes. This one was my grandmother's. It was tortoise shell. I try to collect them. Over here is also incredibly sentimental. My husband was a real Civil War buff, so he collected a lot of memorabilia. Now here, I have some fun things. The pizza my daughter made in ceramics class, priceless. I have these cool bottles. They kind of have a gold covering or some kind of iridescent covering that looks as if it wore off somehow. And this is obviously an antique teapot. It's quite beautiful. These are a bunch of perfume bottles, which I thought would be fun to have. And then here, this of course is from my home state of Virginia. I'd love to know more about where this came from. When I went to Zimbabwe for the Today Show, I bought this nativity scene. There you have baby Jesus. I think they're really interesting and cool. So I have to mention my friend here. My husband collected a lot of militaria, and after Jay passed away, we thought he was going to kind of watch over us, so we kept him in the corner. I'm really excited to talk to an expert and find out what all this stuff is worth, so we'll see, right? So, I brought some of my items. And we, we selected a few of my items. You all are coming to my apartment after the show to tell me.